An important energy savings project is underway for a number of city facilities. During its March 10th work session, the City Council learned what the goals of the Guaranteed Energy Savings Contract or Performance Contracting are. And the main objectives of this process are to reduce energy use, reduce our greenhouse gas emissions, reduce operating costs, and improve building performance. Performance contracting is considered to be a cost-effective way of achieving these goals. All of the payments for the project would come from energy savings realized through the improvements. The general idea behind this is that we would hire a contractor, a specialized contractor who would come and evaluate particular facilities looking for energy and water savings. And we would contract with them to conduct those um, upgrades uh, in a one year span. They would have one year to do all the upgrades on those facilities. We would finance that process and then we would pay back that financing out of the savings that we see on our utility bills where we save energy and water. And those savings are guaranteed by the contractor. If we don't see the savings that they say we will, they pay the difference. While there are a number of buildings that would benefit from the improvements, nine city facilities are being evaluated for the project. We picked facilities that were larger in size that have no scheduled renovations currently, uh, that have above energy or water use, and that the city pays the utility bills. So our nine facilities are the City Hall and the Annex, that's our largest electrical usage in the city. Uh, fire Station Number 2 that was built in 1950, there's some improvements there that we can make. Uh, the Public Works Operating Center down on Martin Luther King, we're looking at air conditioning and lighting and water savings opportunities there. Uh, the General Services Building, uh, Solid Waste Offices and Fleet Management all have air conditioning controls and lighting improvements there. Uh, the Miss Lake Water Management Facility um, has uh, lighting and air conditioning controls opportunities. Uh, the fire administration complex, all four buildings there on that complex are being looked at. And at the North Durham Water Reclamation Facility, we're looking at exterior lighting and air conditioning controls in the office building. We're not looking at any of the process controls there. Actual construction and energy upgrades are expected to begin in January of 2012.